Right now, Danville police are searching for one person while two others face charges. This stems from a gang related shooting that claimed the life of a teenager last weekend. 10 News reporter Coulter Anstad is live outside of the police department and Coulter, you looked at arrest warrants with new details. Yeah, that's right. Uh, that's right, Brittany. Two guns were bought three days prior to the homicide and ammo was bought one day prior to the homicide by two of the suspects uh, who have been charged and those two suspects have now been arrested. Police emphasized today that as of right now, there is no connection between the guns and the ammo to the homicide, but the case remains under investigation. 21 year old Antonio Burton is behind bars tonight, charged with conspiracy to commit murder. He is also charged with lying about his marijuana use on the application to buy two 9mm pistols last Thursday. Danville Police Department Lieutenant Richard Chivas says investigators don't know if those guns were used in Sunday's homicide. It takes time for the state lab to compare shell casings and, and bullets or projectiles that are recovered. So how all that plays in um, will we'll take some time if we have that back and eventually it'll all come out in court. Burton was arrested Wednesday for lying when he bought the guns. His arrest warrant says investigators knew from a previous encounter with him in December that he frequently uses marijuana. 33-year-old LaGrica Brandon is also behind bars charged with conspiracy to commit murder and also faces an additional currently unrelated charge. She's a felon police say was seen on surveillance video buying four boxes of 9mm pistol ammo from Dunham's on Saturday. Detectives are following up on leads. There's more information that they're running down and more people they're trying to talk to. A third suspect, 20 year old Justin Jones, is also charged with conspiracy to commit murder but has not been arrested. Police say happened about an hour after Sunday's homicide. The original suspect is no longer a suspect, but police are still trying to find him and talk to him. Burton's arrest warrant says Burton lives on Julia Street here in the city, which is where the retaliatory, uh, retaliatory shooting happened. But today, Chivas could not confirm if his house is the one that was shot. Live in Danville, Coulter Anstad, 10 News, working for you.